All right, let's get into it, man. News for the run. We got some college football to kick it off. Northern Illinois, they defeated number five Notre Dame and pulled off the biggest upset in school history. This is the first time NIU defeated a team that was ranked top 10 in the country. And another big upset that happened was University of Illinois. They took down Kansas, who was ranked number 19 in the country. And also, too, a couple of other games that were huge, Penn State and Bowling Green. Penn State pulled away, but it was a close matchup there because Penn State only won by a couple of points, 34 to 27. Then Bama versus South Florida was also a close game to have. Bama fans scared for a minute. But Bama, they ended up scoring 28 points in the fourth quarter, and that really just wrapped up the game, sealed it tight. Then Oregon and Boise State, they played. This was also a close battle between the two. Oregon, they did pull off the victory, 37 to 34. And in the NFL here, the Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott is now the highest paid player in the NFL. And right before Sunday's game against the Cleveland Browns, Dak signed a huge four-year deal for $240 million. Now, this deal includes guarantees up to $231 million. And to make things even better, the Cowboys, they opened the season with a win over the Brown that looked extremely dominant. But let's, got, let's not get too high. Let's not get too high because we see the Cowboys open the year every time this way in dominating teams. So I, I don't want to be the one that's hating and all of that. I'm glad Dak got his money. Definitely deserved. He's been balling out. He's been doing his thing. You got to admit it, even if you don't like the Cowboys. Just actually watch him play. Watch him go through his progressions and watch how he controls the game. Don't let that tag of being a game manager really deteriorate you from how skillful this guy is. He's a great quarterback, and he deserves this money. I don't care what nobody said. He definitely deserves it, man. Miami Dolphins wide receiver Tariq Hill was detained and put in handcuffs right outside of Hard Rock Stadium just hours before the game. Now, it said he was pulled over for a traffic violation, but the video shows three police officers using excessive force, yelling, cursing, pushing them to the ground, calling them names, all of that stuff. So thankfully, Tariq Hill was let go of and with no injuries, of course. And he eventually did play in the game against the Jaguars and balled out, did his thing. But above all, man, this was just kind of crazy because, you know, you don't expect these sort of things to happen um, right before a game. I know there was an incident where a big golfer was going to play in his master's match and he was arrested and, you know, shaken down by the police and all of that stuff. So it, it's kind of crazy that this is happening. But above all, it's even more sad to me that people were screaming saying hey that's Tariq Hill with the Dolphins like he's about to go play a game there's people walking in Jersey saying cops what are you doing there's people filming driving in cars saying what are you doing all of this stuff is going on and the cops are just zoned out not paying any attention focused on doing whatever the hell they was doing to Tariq Hill all for nothing and the thing that really really bothers me about this is obviously you know, people know Tariq Hill, so it's a big thing. It's it's super popular. It's like, whoa, whoa, whatever is going on. But Tariq Hill, NFL player, drives a nice car. Um, I believe it was like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. One of those, don't quote me on the car, but a damn nice car. Cops banging on his window, you know, telling him to hurry up, cussing him out and all of that stuff. And it's just like, all right, bro, like you doing all of this, but like one, I don't think they realize how stupid they're going to look once they realize this is a public figure. And it's sad to say it, but if this was a regular dude who's a drug dealer in Miami, nobody gives a shit, unfortunately. That's just the sad truth of it. Nobody is going to care because they're like, oh, he's, you know, it's another black dude getting beat down by the cops. Unfortunately, that's the world we live in. But seeing this happen to Tariq Hill, I think it's, it really opens up the eyes of some people who think that oh it only happens to drug dealers or this sort of thing only happens to guys who are black and up to no good even though they may not even be up to no good they might just be minding their business but because this happened to Tariq Hill it shows a lot of people that don't matter if you're an athlete a rapper a, a superstar and you're black either way it can still happen to you now i'm not one to sit here i'm not trying to make this whole thing like a, oh oh black people always getting beat by the cops and all of that we already know that's how it goes down in this country and truthfully be told that's how it's been going down for years before and after cameras unfortunately that's just how it's been 
And seeing this happen to Tariq Hill and a lot of people being Dolphins fans, fans of Tariq Hill, the person and the football player, it just shows them like, hey, bro, like this shit is just legitimately wrong. It's wrong. Not only did you do it to him and he's minding his own business, but the thing I want to say is that this happened to Tariq Hill, but this happens to people in your local city every damn day. Unfortunately, it happens to these same people every other week in certain cities, in major cities. In Miami, I'm sure this is a normal thing for guys who are just minding their business but drives a nice car with some tinted windows. They may work for a corporate office. They may be a drug dealer. Who knows? But either way, that does not give you the right to throw them to the ground and all of that stuff like they were doing. It just shows that it was messed up from the jump, regardless of if he's an athlete or not. Either way, it's that damn simple. Anyway, look, man, uh, we got some more games.